RBLI is different from other employers because they, they have the facilities available to help, in my case, visually impaired people. It's made me find myself, it's made me believe in myself and made me believe in, in others. RBLI began improving the lives of veterans after the First World War by providing care and employment. Whilst this work remains a focus for RBLI today, they also support disabled people and the wider community. Independence is key, and their unique LifeWorks courses, which support veterans towards a long-term career on Civvy Street, are a vital part of RBLI's work. I left the Army didn't have clear direction, and uh, LifeWorks has given me that direction in life. We have an 84% success rate of people moving into paid employment or further education and training, which is a fantastic result. LifeWorks has expanded on the basis of the original course being successful. That enabled us to apply for some LIBOR funding, and now we've rolled that out into LifeWorks Families, which is for spouses and partners of serving people. LifeWorks, without a doubt, has changed my life. The LifeWorks courses have expanded over the past year and are now delivered around the UK and in Europe as well as on RBLI's 70-acre village site in Aylesford. RBLI provide over 1,200 vocational assessments each year to wounded, injured and sick service personnel, referred to them by the MOD. We won the um, vocational assessment contract with the MOD in November 2013 to deliver uh, assessments which are aimed uh, at wounded, injured and sick uh, soldiers uh, leaving the Army. In addition to working with the MOD, RBLI have used recent years to develop relationships with other service charities, working together to support the armed forces community towards sustainable employment. Civvy Street is an online information advice and guidance system for serving and ex-serving personnel, their spouses and dependents. Civvy Street improves lives by helping to remove barriers to employment. Civvy Street is a programme run by the Royal British Legion. Another project First Steps is run by RBLI in partnership with Walking with the Wounded. First Steps is a financial scheme to help wounded, injured and sick ex-military personnel to get back into sustainable employment through vocational training. RBLI support these ex-service personnel by providing information, advice and guidance throughout the process, helping them towards funding, which is the first step on the road to independence. Programmes like these reach beneficiaries across the UK and even abroad. Closer to home, on the village in Ellsford, RBLI have a range of care and welfare facilities for the armed forces community and people with disabilities or nursing needs. This includes their three-star care centre, Gavin Astor House. Gavin Astor House is able to improve our residents' lives by providing a high level of nursing care, promoting their independence and providing a homely and safe environment for them to live in. Nothing's too much trouble for any of them. They just fall over backwards for you. The village is also home to Mountbatten Pavilion, a 27-bedded housing scheme providing short-term accommodation to armed forces veterans and their dependents. Throughout their stay, support is given to residents to help them back to independent living. RBLI are planning on developing the village over the next few years, creating more flexible housing and community areas. Over the next two years, we will develop accommodation for wounded, injured, sick veterans of all ages. That accommodation will comprise of 24 one and two bed flats, specifically adapted for wounded, injured, sick veterans. Something that's very exciting is that we're developing a memorial garden and that project is happening right now. The Memorial Garden will become part of an exciting village hub with tea rooms where residents and staff can meet for health and well-being activities or just a cup of tea and a chat. RBLI hope this will help prevent social isolation and bring the local community together. Many of the staff who will use the village hub work in RBLI's social enterprise which provides a range of products and services to businesses and charities around the world and gives independence through employment to nearly 100 disabled people and armed forces veterans. Investment and modernization is important here, allowing the factory to compete with commercial organizations. And over one million pounds has been invested in the social enterprise in recent years. RBLI have helped me uh, get into a, a work experience 
and ultimately get me into employment where other companies uh, would be rather fearful of giving me that opportunity. Having a job in the RBI line means so much to me as, a, as an ex-soldier. It enables me to give uh, so much back. Fulfilment isn't the only area to undergo modernisation. Signs and wood products have also been expanded and improved. The signs, graphics and printing area is now temperature and humidity controlled. After a development to house a new digital printer, which was a £250,000 investment. In addition to the factory on the village in Ellsford, RBLI has a print, mail and fulfilment factory based in Leatherhead, Surrey. We offer a really wide range of marketing support services to our customers through printing, mailing and fulfilment. In the printing area, we've got the ability to handle graphics and technical output and we produce everything from business cards to banners. In the mailing area, we've got the ability to produce polywrap insertions and envelope insertions and we do runs from a few hundred to a few hundred thousand. And here in the fulfilment area, we've got the ability to turn our hands to virtually any handwork that we choose. We offer a wide range of opportunities for people with disability. We've invested in our infrastructure. All our areas of print, mail and fulfilment are growing significantly. RBLI's social enterprise is not limited to everyday work. From time to time, they're called upon to work on specialist projects. This year, RBLI were asked to build a life-size replica of the Bloodhound SSC land speed record car. Here at RBLI, we have a wide range of skills and ability. We've got a lot of experience in working with Connects. Over the last 15 years, we've built many display models. Two years ago, we made a life-size monster truck with a quarter of a million pieces. So we were more than confident that we can take on the challenge of the Bloodhound. On the 29th of August, 2014, RBLI found out they had broken the Guinness World Record and built the largest Connect structure ever made. The Bloodhound project didn't just provide work for the fulfilment team in Ellsford, but also in Leatherhead. We've got a lot on for Bloodhound at the moment. We're supporting them with a range of print activity and we're packaging all of their main model assemblies. And then we've got our whole pick and pack range that we're doing for them in terms of their t-shirts and all promotional materials. And that's all handled from this site. RBLI's social enterprise does not plan to stand still. We want RBLI to be an example to other social enterprises, not just in the UK, but around the world. Our social enterprise is a truly unique working environment. It combines social enterprise values within a commercial business unit and makes it work. It gives me a sort of a purpose, basically, a reason um, and an opportunity just to have something to do in my life. So RBLI is a charity providing real opportunities, independence and success for individuals and improving their lives every day. Their success at helping beneficiaries into employment has been recognised by the government and RBLI now deliver the government's work programme across Kent and Sussex. The work programme is a national contract funded by the government that assists people who are unemployed back into work and we have about 12 centres where we deliver services to these individuals. Uh, to date we've had about 13,000 people referred to us. I became Andrew's consultant in April 2012 when I first came to RBLI and joined as an employability consultant. He was really low in confidence, he couldn't keep eye contact, he would look at the floor. We worked together, he started to build his trust in me and he knew I was there to help him. He's doing really, really well, he's going for team leader positions and he's being given extra responsibility. They helped me build up my confidence, also looked at my CV and also uh, made me sort of broaden my search for jobs. Well every month we're placing nearly 300 people into work and to date since the programme started in June of 2011 we've found employment for nearly 6,000 people. Without the work programme I don't think I would be in work today. RBLI is also a provider of the Department of Work and Pensions Access to Work Scheme. We've got a number of assessors out there covering the area from Cornwall to Essex and Oxford to the Isle of Wight and they're out there every day assessing people with disabilities at work. They have also extended their support to ex-servicemen and women who have engaged with the criminal justice system. The Victor Project aims to help this group into work or training. Well, the Victor Project gives individuals an opportunity for some work experience and training on release from prison, helping them to achieve permanent employment, financial independence and the key aim being to reduce reoffending. Projects like Victor show how RBLI is ever expanding and adjusting to support new beneficiaries related to current issues. 
I'm really fortunate to be leading this large, diverse group of excellent individuals who are all committed and passionate about improving the lives of our beneficiaries, those people who have been affected by disability, health condition or some other kind of social disadvantage. We're committed to treating every uh, beneficiary as an individual. Uh, we're committed to improving their lives uh, and helping them to gain their full independence. Absolutely brilliant. The staff have been absolutely brilliant to me. To be honest with you, it wasn't really love and kindness that they showed me. I don't think I'll be here today.